well this camera is fantastic it gives me remote access to my home and i can look into the living room in 360 degree by just swiping my finger around the image and the image quality is fantastic as well come with the local storage option on the camera so i don't need to pay an extra for the cloud storage if it's something you are looking for this video is for you what's up everybody Naresh here welcoming you back into another video where today i have got my hands on this enki hd smart wireless pt camera which come with a very typical feature expected in all high-end cameras starting with the hd video plug and play setup peer-to-peer -peer remote access two-way audio communication smooth pan and tilt operation now all these features come with a very competitive price please check the video description if you're new to my channel i tend to go extra mile by showing each and everything about a product a typical user should know about starting with the features unboxing full setup and the demonstration then by the end of the video a user should know that is that product suitable for them or not so with that all been said let's quickly go ahead with the unboxing and see what comes with this Anki HD smart wireless PT camera included in the box we have one quick startup guide one wall mounting bracket with couple of screws one tangle free one meter ethernet cable one standard micro USB cable for powering camera and a power adapter now in last but not least we have Enki smart HD pan tilt camera where in the front of camera we have a camera lens as well as the infrared light ring on top of it we have a photo sensor which automatically turn on the infrared lights now the whole top body of camera is movable to give you the pan and tilt operation without any worry now on the base of camera in front you have a microphone input as well as a speaker output for the two-way audio communication where on the back of the camera we have a 5 volt power input reset pin micro sd card slot which supports up to 32 gigabytes and a standard ethernet port if you would like to have a wired connection with this camera under the camera you have a tap to install the wall mounting bracket which is very easy and straightforward now configuring this camera with your mobile phone device is a very easy and straightforward first thing you gotta do is power this camera up while camera is powering up let's go ahead and install the app i'll be using android mobile phone to get the app you need to go into google play store and search for my anki and in here you're going to see the my anki application hit on the install button now you as you heard that the camera is also ready as well it gi also give you audible notification now once application is successfully installed open it up now app is very easy and straightforward to use just go through what is asking for and click on to the just start first you need to create account with the app itself which is very easy to do so by pressing this sign up button now once you successfully created account with the my Enki app you need to click on to this add device button now in here select your camera type the one which we have is a PTZ camera now you need to scan the QR code which is available under your camera base or you can manually enter the ID of it once you got it click onto the add button and select the connection which will be used by the camera to connect on internet I'm going to use the Wi-Fi now let's go through the app completely to install the camera itself yeah already heard the voice go next now you need to use the Wi-Fi credentials which will be used to connect this camera with the internet at this moment of time camera only support 2.4 gigahertz you need to give a name to your camera I'm gonna call it living room and press apply select time zone now once camera is successfully added in my onki application you're going to see it in device list area here you can add more cameras as well if you have got the same onki ones available 
Now, if you like to see the live feed of this camera, by selecting this particular camera, you're going to see it and it's going to show you what resolution it's running at actually. It's HD 1080p. Now, to access the settings of your camera itself, you click onto this cog button on the top. Now, within the settings, you have access for the system, security, alarms and recording, storage, network, image quality and others too. You can also remove the camera by one click of a button. Now the good option in the system you have got is the system update which will check it online that if there's the latest version available for your camera but click of a one button pressing this update and OK it will update your camera to the latest firmware. Now we have a latest version of firmware running in our camera. Let's quickly have a look into the app and see its other features starting by going into the live feed. Now on the live feed you're going to see the camera itself by pressing on the video itself you can go pan tilt and zoom whatever you want that works very smoothly as well. By going into the landscape mode, I can do it much more actually. That makes more sense to be honest with you. Now you can take a picture by press of a one button from the home screen by clicking onto the camera button, which will be stored in your mobile phone. At the same time, you can make a video recording too. You can also do a two-way audio communication, which is very easy to do as well by press of this button here. Now to access the settings of your camera, you need to click onto this cog button on the top now within, the now within the camera settings, you have option for about where you can change the name of camera itself, time and date, update the firmware, restart the camera or restore it to factory setting without touching the camera. Next option you have is for the security where you can change the password of your device itself which is camera. Then you have an option for alarm and the recording. Now in the alarm is going to give you option if you'd like to set the motion detection. If you select the motion, if enable it, you can also schedule it as well. Then your option have a recording actually. This recording means you can do it the continuous recording which I turned on and it will be recording 24 hours actually, which is superior quality. And with the card of 16 gigabytes, I'm expected to record five days. Not bad at all guys. You also have advanced option as well, which can take it a bit more. And after alarm and recording, you got option for storage. You have a SD card selection, memo, as well as the cloud storage. Now, if you'd like to know more detail about the cloud storage, you can go within the app and explore a little bit yourself, which is very easy and straightforward. Nowadays, cloud storage are you know pretty decent options. The next one is the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi connectivity. At this moment of time, camera is connected on Wi-Fi. You can change its settings as well if you want to by going into this area here. Or if you'd like to do a wired connection to the camera, you can go to the Ethernet. Now, after network, the next option we have is for the image. Now, if you're going to install this camera upside down, flip around, you can click onto this button here and it will change the change the image, image actually. Then we have the OSD on screen display. Here you can select the text or time or whatever area you are going into, the format, the way you wanted it. Let's suppose I wanted it like a day, month, date month and year i'm going to select this one 24 hour on display as well that's how easy and straightforward it is you can set it with respect to whatever choice you have other options you have is sound as well as the frequency which helps you to understand the flicker actually sometimes we have a flicker you can see that now on the screen now within the other option you have an option for the motion detection now this is a smart tracking option which is very handy if you would like to keep this camera to watch the elderly or kids actually. So basically the camera will move and track their motion by click off of one button and save it. Now it will be moving itself. You will see, can see that camera started moving to track my hand. Look at this. Now smart tracking. Now smart tracking and motion detection can be done very easily by tweaking with these two figures here. And once you get them right, it should be perfectly fine. Now, we have been through whole app and it seems to be performing way better than my expectation. Let me show you a couple of recorded footage of this camera to give you an idea that how is the quality. So here we have a recording of pitch dark room. As soon as I came in inside the room, you can see me clearly actually. It's not bad at all. Then 
as soon I will turn the lights on you will see that infrared vision will turn off and switch back to the colored full HD mode now to conclude to be honest with you whatever feature this Anki smart HD camera offers are fantastic for the price you are getting it I would highly recommend if you are looking for one like that link is available in the video description let me know what you think about my video as well as about this camera and share what cameras you are using too on that note guys thank you very much for watching this video shall see you soon into another one bye for now